Why, do you, why should we focus on building women in science in Africa? Uh, it's their uh, you know, God-given right to have access to all. I can do what a man can do as a girl. I think women have a special quality uh, that men don't bring to the table. And it's time the world understands and Africa understands and taps into that resource. This is SciDev.net's Africa Science Focus, a weekly program where our journalists go to the front lines of science in global development across the continent. I am Sally Amutabi, and the focus on today's show is women in science. How would you define the development of women scientists in Uganda? Well, I would say it has been lacking because no particular emphasis has been given to women in the science sector. In your own view, are we having enough women in science in Africa? Of course not, because it has not been singled out as an area worth further development in that direction. So there are not many as such. Globally, the percentage of women pursuing degrees in science, technology, engineering and mathematics, known as STEM, is discouragingly small. In sub-Saharan Africa, this number is particularly low, with women representing just 30% of scientific researchers. Dr. Grace Nambatia thinks the first step towards equality should be demystifying science. We need to make science have a face, make science linked to day-to-day -day living. Most science, you know, it's in the abstract and it makes people shy away. And the women, um, their disadvantage is a lot. For example, the young girls, you find going into like menstruation period alone may mean missing school. So you find once you miss a class, um, you, you, you just get lost. So when people get lost, especially when handling basics in every part of science, they just hit the subject. Dr. Grace says that there needs to be more support to empower young women to continue their studies. However, even in cases where young females are encouraged to pursue science, they may still be hindered by financial obstacles. And logistics regarding uh, studying such subjects that require a big capital may end the whole area into fragmentation because in most cases you find say biology segmented say from chemistry, chemistry segmented from physics because of financial challenges you want to get a little part but ideally all science is done in one bit one feeds into each other, you know, people fall out early and we end up into, you know, people who have really missed out. Since 1998, the Ugandan government has allowed three children from each family to go to primary school for only a small fee. Students still need to buy their own uniforms and school equipment. If a child's family can't meet these costs, they can't advance to the next academic year. Reporter Sarah Natolo asked Dr. Grace what is being done to encourage girls who finish secondary school to continue into higher education. Yeah, there are lots of opportunities. The Equal Opportunities Commission in the country ensures that there is a gender balance in most of the aspects. Government's role normally is in setting policy policy environment to ensure that all others now are enabled to put in place uh, what it takes. So, well, I wouldn't say that they can't do more, but at least they've set the, they've set the, it's like they've created the setting. And also, I uh, think like in Uganda here, a woman and a man, if you're doing the same job, you get the same salary. The new constitution of Uganda, implemented in 1995, makes various provisions for gender balance including the continued use of affirmative action in favor of marginalized groups. Part of this mechanism includes a 1.5 bonus point scheme 
through which young female students are provided extra credit when applying for the government-run institution Makerere University. Studies have shown that although women do enroll at the university, some female minorities are still underrepresented. For those that do get accepted onto a scientific course major, discrepancies exist in the working world. Female scientists in sub-Saharan Africa have limited leadership opportunities. They are often hired as lecturers or assistant researchers, rather than as directors or the principal investigators in major studies and in non-governmental jobs pay gaps persist. <laughs> Paul Mwiru is my name. I'm a member of parliament from Uganda, representing Jinja Municipality East Coast in the parliament of Uganda. And is the government of Uganda has any programs aimed at ensuring that women get equal opportunities with male counterparts in science career pursuits? Of course, apparently not, but it's one area which is an eye opener that now we may have to look at it in that direction. Before it was about women emancipation generally. But now I think government needs to step up and have women emancipation with a bias in sciences. Mm. Of course, apparently, uh, that, that, that's why I'm saying that uh, government should come up with a, a policy which should ensure that uh, when it comes to women emancipation, they should take the sciences that women should have, uh, women who want to have a bias in sciences have an advantage over others. As, in, as far as the career development is concerned in sciences. Sarah Natolo, reporting from Uganda. Segin Yanishet is the chief executive officer of the Ethiopian Medical Women's Association. Sagan tells reporter Tesfa Alem Teklebiru the assumption that women don't belong in academia underpins inequality in Africa's science. Uh, and there's a stigma where uh, science fields are very tough and therefore boys. Uh, and once they join the university, uh, all the social uh, upheavals and they're, uh, they're not enough mentorship for them. And once they're out of that career paths that they have to take are mainly dominated by men. And the game for that is a bit uh, tough. It's a patriotic one. And once they have they built uh, their career, uh, the next challenge comes once they build a family. Then once they have a family, it's quite difficult also because uh, in Ethiopia there's uh, a tendency, or in most African countries there's a tendency, it's the role of the women to lead the house. So uh, that always makes them not to leapfrog in their careers. So even if they have a background in science, they won't be able to reach the climax they could. Africa Science Focus ran our own little study to find out what girls think their role is in African society. Reporter Jubiel Zulu spoke to Firi, aged 12, Retisher, aged 15, and Mutumba, aged 17. What do you think about the role of women in the society? What role do they play? Women are very important because they clean the house, they provide for the family, and they sell tomatoes. What else do they do? They sell cooking oil and vegetables. The role of women in society is that they have to take care of their children in homes, take care of their husband, and in addition, they are also supposed to be the role models in teaching young girls who are growing up in these societies. So, um, why do you think uh, young girls miss out on science? Because it's hard. They don't have interest in science and they see some things in science difficult for them to learn. It's still a social norm to say girls can only do better in some certain subjects. Because if you see even the way curriculums are made or the way some systems are, you only find boys who are having courses like TD, Pure sciences. Why do you think that maybe others say scientists uh, who are women are not good? Because they discriminate. I can do what a man can do as a girl. Women really do get discriminated against the basis of gender. Everyone can make a good scientist. It's just time. A woman can be a president. A woman can be a director. 
a woman can be anything for as long as there's moral spiritual support physical support that's one thing that we lack as women we have to really 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 break it when it comes to traditional where a woman is only supposed to be found in the kitchen where a woman can't go as far as um, as a phd as a masters because they have children to nurse but i think this time around society has accepted that what a man can do a woman can do a big thank you to firi retisher and mutumba Girls Empowerment is recognized by the United Nations as a pivotal factor driving gender equality, one of the 17 Sustainable Development Goals or SDGs. Well, it has been clearly uh, demonstrated that edu- educating women is um, an entry point for a well-developed nation and a well-functioning society. when we educate women and when we empower them uh, we empower family we uh, increase um, hygiene proper nutrition um, the chance of educating uh, siblings is still higher so uh, disengaging women from development and uh, leadership contributions including science uh, is a major setback uh, for nations especially uh, like ours so engaging women is very important Uh, for achieving uh, all the national and international commitments set out like uh, the millennium development goals and sustainable development goals that's sophonit hail assistant professor of obstetrics and gynecology at addis ababa university candas estman the chief executive officer of africa bio enterprises in liberia an independent non-profit stakeholders association for those employed in the biotechnology sector says equality is essential for economic development and the production of reliable science particularly in health research a lot of drugs um that are created sometimes they are created more towards um our male counterparts for example i went to go for a mammogram last year for the first time When I saw the machinery that they use on a woman's body, I said there's no way that a woman <laughs> would have created this this machine. You know, so we need to make sure that the way women think, the way we perceive the world, the way we experience life is reflected in science. To get the best from our science it is essential that we remove bias and be more inclusive candace believes that encouragement and self belief will be the building blocks responsible for combating gender inequality and driving development in sub saharan africa for the girls out there you have to know that uh, it might seem difficult but with some perseverance especially with Liberia having the first female president in Africa um knowing that we may not be in high numbers but obviously we can achieve anything that we put our mind to it just takes a little curiosity and willing to learn and ask questions reporter Bohe Fala reporting from Liberia and ending today's show on women in science Do you have a question on gender equality in African research? Are you desperate to find out more about a specific topic in health or development? Send us a message and we'll have an expert to answer it on one of our upcoming shows. Contact us via WhatsApp on plus +254 799 042 513. You can subscribe to our program, download episodes and leave a review at www.sidev.net I'm Sally Amutabi see you next Wednesday This program was funded by the European Journalism Center through the European Development Journalism Grant program with support from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation